Hey everyone, like a lot of you still stuck at home here and maybe like some of you going a little bit stir crazy or maybe the creative juices are flowing. So you're probably thinking, you know what? I've got some funny friends or I've got some ideas that I get off my chest. So for this, we're gonna do a two part tutorial series about how to start your own online talk show or podcast. And for part one, we're gonna take a look at some of the various video chat software that you'll use to produce this with and determine like what's the best one, what's gonna give you the best quality. So how are we gonna determine what's the best video calling app? Well, we're gonna take a look at three factors. The first is the audio quality, then the video quality, then the ease of use. And since ease of use is so important, these apps have to be multi-platform. So if they have to work on Windows, OS X, Android, iOS, even web-based. And also they have to be free. So some of these apps do have paid options to improve stuff, but we're only gonna look at the free tier. So what are the apps that we're gonna look at? So we're gonna look at Zoom, we're gonna look at Skype, Discord, Google Hangouts, Cisco WebEx, and GoToMeeting. So what's the test setup? So I kind of wanted to go to some real world situations. So basically you usually have someone who's doing the podcast, usually the host, and they have a really high quality setup. But maybe if they're joining another person's setup, maybe they're not using very good video chat software. So I use my setup, right? It has an Electro Voice RE20. It's going into a Focusrite Scarlet interface, like pretty clean audio. But we're gonna see what happens when that goes through the video chat software. Now on the other side, we have Iris setup. She's just on a laptop, a MacBook. She's using the MacBooks microphone. That's what's gonna happen. You know, sometimes you might get a guest that's on their cell phone or just on their laptop somewhere. Now we are, I'm on a wired connection and she's on a Wi-Fi connection. And it's a pretty good connection. It's, you know, one Gbps. But let's listen to the baseline audio first, and then let's listen to the audio from each of the different video chat software. Welcome to the Talking Things podcast. We're talking about things and things. We don't know much about either, but it's great to talk about it. Shout outs to our sponsor, MeUndies. Welcome to the Talking Things podcast. We're talking about things and things. We don't know much about either, but it's great to talk about it. Shout outs to our sponsor, MeUndies. Welcome to the Talking Things podcast. We're talking about things and things. We don't know much about either, but it's great to talk about it. Shout out to our sponsor, MeUndies. Welcome to the Talking Things podcast. We're talking about things and things. We don't know much about either, but it's great to talk about it. Shout out to our sponsor, MeUndies. Welcome to the Talking Things podcast. We're talking about things and things. We don't know much about either, but it's great to talk about it. Shout out to our sponsor, MeUndies. Welcome to the Talking Things podcast. We're talking about things and things. We don't know much about either, but it's great to talk about it. Shout out to our sponsor, MeUndies. Welcome to the Talking Things podcast. We're talking about things and things. We don't know much about either, but it's great to talk about it. Shout out to our sponsor, MeUndies. Hi, I'm Ira. I love Animal Crossing. I lost my house in a turnip crash of 08, but I hope to earn my way out of that by fishing for the next 40 years. Hi, I'm Ira. I love Animal Crossing. I lost my house in a turnip crash of 08, but I hope to work my way out of that by fishing for the next 40 years. Hi, I'm Ira. I love Animal Crossing. I lost my house in a turnip crash of 08, but I hope to work my way out of that by fishing for the next 40 years. Hi, I'm Ira. I love Animal Crossing. I lost my house in a turnip crash of 08, but I hope to work my way out of that by fishing for the next 40 years. Hi, I'm Ira. I love Animal Crossing. I lost my house in the turnip crash of 08, but I hope to work my way out of that by fishing for the next 40 years. Hi, I'm Ira. I love Animal Crossing. I lost my house in the turnip crash of 08, but I hope to work my way out of that by fishing for the next 40 years. Hi, I'm Ira. I love Animal Crossing. I lost my house in the turnip crash of 08, but I hope to work my way out of that by fishing for the next 40 years. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the audio quality. And I think this is probably the most important thing. I'm gonna wait a little bit more because, you know, let's be honest, when you're listening to a podcast or a talk show, your attention is usually divided somewhere else. It's kind of just running in the background or in a side screen. So if you hear really bad audio, it's gonna really take you out and distract you and you might not watch it. Whereas video, you can probably be a little bit more forgiving on. And the thing is with audio, especially when you talk about, you know, voice over chat software, especially the free tier, is that you have no control over the quality of the audio. Like it might just auto adjust or like the bit rate might be really low. And you might not even know this. A lot of them don't even tell you what the audio bit rate is during calls. 
So which app had the best audio quality? Well, with the results that I showed you, I didn't change anything. I just put them into the editor. I didn't change volume or gain or anything like that. There might be changes from encoding this and uploading to YouTube. So I actually put links in the description to the raw files if you want to listen to them. Now, having said that, I think Discord and Google Hangouts definitely had the best audio quality. Maybe a slight edge to Google Hangouts. I think it depends on what mic that you use with it. Now, kind of like a distant third was Zoom. And Skype, GoToMeeting, and Cisco WebEx, they all weren't great, but I think GoToMeeting definitely had the worst sounding audio. So video call quality is important because you wanna watch video that has a smooth frame rate and isn't pixelated. And again, you're at the mercy of the servers of whatever video chat app software that you're using. But we're gonna take a look at frame rate and resolution. And this is kind of an unfair category because Skype just has features that basically put it far ahead of the pack. Basically, Skype has incorporated NDI. I'll talk more about why this is important in the ease of use category. But basically with NDI, you get far better resolution and frame rate than the other chat apps. The next one that comes closest is Discord. And this is followed fairly closely by Google Hangouts. Now, GoToMeeting, Zoom, and WebEx all fall around the same, but I would say GoToMeeting is probably the worst. Now for the next category, ease of use, I basically broke it up into two segments. So one is ease of use of the video calling software, and the other one is using it with streaming software. Now for using the video chat software, like you might be pretty tech savvy, but whoever you're having as a guest might not be. So you want it to be as easy as possible for them to join the call. And I think the real winner here is probably Google Hangouts. Like all you need is their email. It sends them a link or you create the link on the calendar and send it to them. They join it via web browser. They don't need to install apps. They don't even really need a Google account. They just join the video call and they're good to go. Now this is followed pretty closely by other apps like Zoom and GoToMeeting and Cisco WebEx where you know you might need to create an account, but basically you make a link, it sends them, they download the app and they can join the call right away. They probably don't need to create an account. And then after that, this is followed by Discord and Skype. And Discord and Skype, not only do you need to create an account and install an app, you also need to be friends or connected somehow, either joining a group or a server or becoming friends directly to start a call. Now, the second section is basically how you incorporate this video chat software into your streaming or recording setup, like whatever you're using to produce your podcast or talk show. And again, Skype really takes the cake here because they use NDI. So NDI is basically this protocol to send video and audio over a network connection. So basically you go into Skype and you enable this, you start the video call. And then in most of the popular like production softwares, they can take an NDI feed. So you just add that source and that's it really easy especially if you're doing group calls, like you just add each group call member, their video feed independently, really easy to set up. Now with all the other video chat software, you have to basically screen capture the video feed. Now, thankfully, most of these softwares are good in the sense that you can actually like lock the windows to certain positions and sizes. But the thing is, is like, if you only have one monitor, you start running out of screen real estate to screen capture and it's a bit hard to manage especially if someone drops, it just looks really bad and weird. So again, Skype takes the cake here. The other ones aren't too far behind, but hopefully more of these chat softwares incorporate solutions to basically directly add their video feeds. So which one would I pick overall? Well, I would pick a Discord because it gives you really good audio quality and it gives you pretty good video quality and it's fairly easy to use. Now the runner up would be Skype because Skype gives you really good video quality it's really easy to use with production, but you do sacrifice with audio quality. But I wanna know from you in the comments, what do you think is the best overall software from what you've seen? Or is there a chat software that's also free that I might've missed that you would recommend? Let me know in the comments, give a like if this video was useful and make sure to subscribe for more tech guides. Catch you next time.